song together. serve a great God. He is our Prince of Peace. He is our everything. But his name is Emmanuel. With us is God. And this is a song and a phrase that we can worship the Lord year long. With us is God. Your Bible says God with us. Listen at this. Come Come, let us adore him, kneel down before him, worship and adore him. Oh, come, come, let us adore him, kneel down before him. Worship and adore him. His name, Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Emmanuel. 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 Oh, oh his name is Emmanuel. You're the king. Emmanuel, you're the Lord of Lords, Emmanuel, <laughs> you're my true God, Emmanuel, we worship you, we worship you, come, don't you feel them? Come, let us adore him. Kneel down before him. Worship and adore him. Everybody, let's come. Come, let us adore him. Kneel down before him. Worship and adore him. Come on, say his name with me. Emmanuel. He's the great God. Say his name. Emmanuel. We speak this over our nation, over the world. Emmanuel. To all of God's people everywhere. Emmanuel. Everybody call his name. Emmanuel. Worship and adore. Emmanuel, he is our God and Lord, Emmanuel, everybody lift your voice and call his name, Emmanuel, oh, Emmanuel, yeah, yeah. Emmanuel. You are our great Emmanuel. Oh, yeah. Emmanuel. Oh, oh, oh. Emmanuel. Hey, hey, hey. Emmanuel. We worship you, Father.
Father, we bless you. You're Emmanuel. Oh, oh, oh. You're the great, the great, the only one. You are God's only son. You are my Emmanuel. You are my Emmanuel. Oh, 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 oh. I worship Emmanuel and I adore you, Emmanuel. Yes, I do. I praise you, Emmanuel. Oh, oh, oh. Emmanuel. We worship you. 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 We worship, worship your holy name. We worship you. We worship, worship your holy name. We worship you. We worship, we worship your holy name. We worship you. Our Emmanuel. That's who you are. Thank you, Jesus. another day and right there where you are watching this program I want you to be blessed by blessing God because when we bless him with our whole heart he blesses us and blesses our whole life let's worship together I will bless thee oh Lord I will bless thee Oh Lord, with the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, oh Lord. I will bless thee, oh Lord. Yes, I will. I will bless thee, oh Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O oh Lord. With my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise, with the heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Lifted up and my mouth filled with praise with the heart of thanksgiving. 
I will bless thee, O Lord, with my hands lifted up. I lift them high to you, Lord Jesus. And from my mouth is filled with praise. And with the heart, with the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. Yeah, yeah. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. Right there in your home, bless them with me, with all that's in you. I will bless you, O oh Lord. Bless you, O oh Lord. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Yes, just wave those hands in your sanctuary. With the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O oh Lord. you Lord with all my heart and all my soul I will bless you I will bless you I will bless thee oh Lord with the heart of thanksgiving I will bless thee oh Lord oh yeah I will bless thee, O oh Lord, because you're the only one who deserves my worship. I will bless you, Lord. I will praise your name. I will glorify you. I will bless you with all that's in me. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Amen. So we just praise God on today. Amen. I want you to turn to your Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter 12. We're going to read verse 8 to 10. It's just a little message that this word came to me first. So when it comes to me, I just have to share it. Amen. 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 And I think it's something that if we would take heed to it, amen, we'll be able to uh, go through our life and understand what we're dealing with in this hour. Amen. When you have 2 Corinthians 12, 12, I'm sorry. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 8 to 10. Amen. Okay. Amen. 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 And it reads starting at verse 8. Concerning the things, concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times. And this is Paul. We're jumping to kind of in the middle of the chapter. So this is Paul talking to the church at Corinth. Amen. So it says, starting this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. Uh -huh. Verse 9, and he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Verse 10, therefore I take pleasure in my infirmities and in reproaches in these and persecutions in distresses. Yeah. For Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then I am strong. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord God, for all that you have been to us up until this present time. Thank you for your presence, your spirit being in our midst. Yes. For in you we live, we move, and we have our being. Yes. And don't be afraid to bring forth this word, God, with clarity, wisdom, and understanding. I say, as Jesus said, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. Put your hands together and bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
you just something the Lord, I, I lived through this this past month or so, and the Lord taught me this firsthand, amen? So I just want to talk to you about a little word called managing your distractions. Yeah. Managing your distractions, amen? What does it mean to manage? It means to take responsibility, leadership, give direction to, in order to get the best results. Let me say what manage means. We got to manage our distractions. So to manage means to take responsibility, uh, take leadership, give direction to, in order to get the best results. And what are distractions? Can any, anything, any person, event, or activity that diverts or takes your attention off of the main thing? Amen? So what is a distraction? Anything. Any person, event, or activity that diverts or takes your attention yeah. off of the main thing. What is the main thing? That's your purpose, yes. that's your anointing, yes. and that's your destiny. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen. We got to recognize that we are in a day or a moment where the two we are required to do two things. That's war and worship. Yes. Amen? Amen. War and worship. Right. Amen? Amen. So Paul uh, uh, having had a, a relationship with God and God led him to a dimension that he had never been in and showed him some uh, great and awesome things that he couldn't even talk or write of. But he said, but the Lord gave me a um, something to buffet me. He gave me a thorn in my flesh that would keep me humble so I wouldn't be exalted above measure. Amen. So I'm here to tell you, the more we experience the presence of God, the more the enemy is going to attack. And he's going to come in different ways. So our thorn in this hour may not be something in our flesh, and it may be. But the, depending on what the distraction that comes might be labeled something different. But it's yet a thorn. It's yet a distraction. Hallelujah. So it took me on the Lord to go through my process. And it took the Lord to show me in a dream that everything, I know you done cried over some things, you didn't think some things from the past were raised up and try to get all come back to life, but I'm here to tell you it's nothing but a distraction. Yes. Hallelujah. The enemy specializes in paralysis and stagnation. Both are of absence of movement or advancement. So the enemy does not want the church or the body of Christ to advance. into the kingdom. So we got to strive with some things. We got to go to warfare about some stuff. Hallelujah. But if we press in and if we don't give up, if we don't give in to defeat, we will enter the kingdom of God. So I say war and worship. Hallelujah. So the enemy specializes in paralysis and stagnation. You got to remember, I don't care what you go through from this moment forward, recognize that it's just a distraction. The enemy wants to immobilize you. He wants you to stay just where you are and not advance. See, advancement is a military term. He don't want you to fight to go forward. He's all right with you going backwards. And he's all right with you standing still. But we can't lose our momentum. Hallelujah. So he specializes in paralysis and stagnation. Both are the absence of movement. All right, if you're operating off the same sphere you did from 10 years ago, you're stagnant. You think because you see water all around you that there's life. But stagnation has water. But there's water with no movement. So do you have a spirit that God gave you 10 years ago? But you have not advanced. The kingdom of God is constantly going forward. It's constantly advancing. God's presence is now. It's not yesterday. God is the 
wants to stop your momentum. I don't care what the distraction is called. It may be called sickness. It may be called cancer. It may be called this thing. It may be called that thing. It may be called people rising up against you. I'm here to tell you that you don't really know what you're made of until you come against an enemy. You can holler I'm strong all you want to, but till you are faced with somebody coming against your anointing, somebody coming against your testimony, you don't know how strong you are. Hallelujah. John 10, 10. Y'all need to memorize this. The thief does not come except to steal and kill and to destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. So when the enemy comes into your world, try to wreak havoc. So this last little th uh, process that God took me through, all to learn this lesson that is just a distraction. What the enemy did to me took me off guard. And he, did, he gave me a stunner. Hallelujah. But God said it's still just a distraction. Recognize the bigger picture. That it ain't really all about you. That he's really trying to stop your assignment. He's trying to stop your anointing. He's trying to paralyze your purpose. So I'm here. Manage your distractions. Thank you, Jesus. We 
divine strategies. Hallelujah. And for some of you who find yourself repeating cycles and circles, I'm here to tell you that the next time the enemy come with that nonsense, all you got to do is react differently. He going to go somewhere and regroup. He ain't going to go somewhere and stay. Trust me, he going to come back. But what he will do is regroup because he's like, oh, I can't get her like that anymore. Oh, I can't trick her like that. Oh, she knows some word. Oh, she been praying. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Number one, some battles are designed specifically for you. Some battles, some distractions, some sicknesses, some trials, some tribulations are designed specifically for you. I'm here to tell you that nothing you go through catches God off guard. Hallelujah. And instead of our minds always going to the negative, all right, what did I do wrong? I like to repeat how the Selby, she used to say when she went through some hard trials, God, what is my sin? Hallelujah. But it's not about your sin, but it's about you recognizing I'm in a good place in God. I was on the right path. Elder Martin, I didn't get attacked until I said yes to God. I didn't go through this until I surrendered to God. So God, I know I'm doing the right thing. Now show me the purpose of this distraction. Hallelujah. So some battles are designed specifically for you. Stop always crying, why me? Because the Holy Ghost is saying, why not you? Maybe he sees a trust factor in you that may not have been there 10 years ago. That maybe is not in anybody else in your crowd. But he sees something in you that the ultimately he's going to get the glory out of. So some battles are designed specifically for you. Whether you go to the battle or the battle comes to you. It is for you. Tell somebody, it is for you. It is for you. Recognize that this is your fight and not someone else's battle. Because a lot of times we want to shirk responsibility. I don't want to go through this. This is too hard. We wonder why God shows us the, the end at the beginning. He gives us hope but he doesn't give us the details in between. Because a whole lot of us would quit and run and say, God, I don't want to go through that. That seems too hard. That seems too difficult. So he don't share that with you. But recognize that if you have the audacity to give God a yes, he will pick your child. He will pick your tribulation. He will put you in the right battles to bring you up, to put
what we call worshiping. But where's the warfare? See, I don't know about you, but I said, I said this before, and I hold to my conviction that I'm not one of the people. The Holy Ghost will not let me sit on social media and look at shout track after shout track. That's shallow. And you heard it from me first. It's shallow. And it does not show not necessarily the best side of the church. It will take both 
equip them to get where God get you where God is requiring you to go. I don't care what the enemy brings, sickness. I don't care if he brings pain. I don't care if, they, if your family turn against you. I don't care if you lose your friends. I don't care if you lose your job. I don't care if you lose your house. It's a distraction. Amen. We got to keep the main thing, the main thing. Amen. And God's assignment takes precedence yeah. over all that stuff. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Amen. And number three, refuse to be held in fear right. and paralyzed by the destruction, the demons, the issues, and your past and present try to bring to your life. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Tell somebody, manage your distractions. Yes. Learn how to manage your distractions. Yes. Hallelujah. When I told you when I went through this, this I don't want to say season, when I went through this process, because God allowed us to go through things so that we can help teach other people. Yes. And that's what I believe he did, amen? And sometimes we get, we get so far, God, that we think we know. But God, I remind you, you don't know what you think you know. Oh Hallelujah. But I need to show you something here. Amen. So how I gathered that all these little attacks from the enemy were just a distraction. Uh -huh. Amen. Because we have to recognize it's the enemy ain't attacking you if you're not doing what you're supposed to do. That's right. Amen. Amen. A lot of times you stagnant and, and stale and just standing there doing nothing different that you didn't do 10 years ago. The enemy not attacking you. But it's when you're in momentum, when you are trying to advance the kingdom of God, all hell sometimes will break loose on you. And, th and this particular thing stunned me because I did not expect it. It just came out of the blue. Amen? Amen. So the Lord showed me in a dream that I, a lot of times I dream about children. And so he showed me in a dream that I was pushing a baby carriage. And I was going to a particular destination. And he showed me that I would just leave the carriage with my babies in it and just walk away. But then I remembered, wait a minute, I have something important. Then I went back to my babies. So after that dream, immediately the whole the Holy Ghost told me, what you are going through, these series of trials, is just a distraction. So what I need from you is to straighten up. I know, I know it's rough. I know it's hard. Sometimes he'll let you hit. He'll allow it come to come hard and fast. And come out of nowhere. But the Holy Ghost said it's just a distraction. So I recognize, wait a minute, that's me. I'm being taken, my mind is being taken some places that they don't need to go. I'm not focusing on the main thing, Elder. So I recognize that it's just a distraction. So what I did in true Audrey Denise performed. As I said, wait a minute, enemy. I'm here to announce to you that you will not.
for Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. We got to pray for this United States. Yeah. Anytime they'd rather uh, get rid of a speaker of the house and then close down government, something is wrong. Amen. Hallelujah. But see, God is preparing the people of God. He's telling us you can't depend on that. You can't depend on your government. You can't depend on their money. You can't depend on the school systems, the government systems. They're all broken. But the kingdom is not broken. Yeah. Because they're just yeah. distracted. Put your hands together and bless God.